when you talk about dipolar cycloadditions, um, once you get past ozone and azides, uh, the conversation tends to trail off quite a bit. But I want to do one more example of a dipolar cycloaddition just to show that it, it's more than just ozone and azides. There are people who do a lot of different 1-3 dipoles. Um, so the last 1-3 dipole I want to talk about is called a nitrile oxide. So above it, I, I want to draw the structure of azide, full electronic structure. And let's just make it phenylazide, which we've seen before. And now, um, so this is an azide. And below it, I want to uh, draw a nitrile, a nitrile oxide. So here is a nitrile oxide. Now, as you can see, electronically, it has a lot in common with an azide. We've got the triple bond with a positive charge and an, an atom with lone pairs and a negative charge. So this is also a 1,3 dipole. Now, uh, what do people mostly react with azides? They react alkynes. They, they react triple bonds. We're going to do the same thing with nitrile oxides. So let's draw this structure out. Draw the whole thing out again so we can show a mechanism. And we'll react this with an alkyne. Once again, an alkyne with just a simple benzene ring. And we'll draw our mechanism. O minus attacks. Uh, the alkyne breaks. One of those pi bonds attacks the carbon. And then that bond breaks and goes to nitrogen. Okay, and so we get this kind of thing. Again, a five-membered ring. That's what we always get from these dipolar cycloadditions. And we get this uh, structure. This is not a triazole. Triazole means three nitrogens. This is actually called an isoxazole. I think its name is less important. What's more important is, like a triazole, this is an aromatic molecule. So this is aromatic. And for that reason, it is stable. Say it's aromatic because we, we have two electrons in that pi bond, two electrons in the carbon-nitrogen pi bond, and we'll pick up one of those uh, oxygen lone pairs into a p orbital. So this is a, an, an aromatic structure. So this is another example of a, a stable product that can form through one, a 1-3 one, dipolar cycloaddition. Uh, the, these are certainly, uh, this is certainly not the only compound you can make in addition to triazoles. There are lots of them, but these are some of the commonly encountered 1-3 dipolar cycloadditions. And you see these throughout the literature and they pop up pretty frequently. There's a really handy way to quickly put together rings that sometimes are otherwise hard to access uh, by other methods.